Hi, my name is John, and welcome to the ScienceLogic product video series. In this video, you'll learn how ScienceLogic SL1 helps you automate troubleshooting to diagnose root cause faster. Let's take a look at an example. Here we see a major event, and we can see that our web server has unexpectedly run low on storage. To triage this event, IT operations must look up the device credentials in their password safe, log into the device, run multiple commands, copy the results, create a new ticket in their ITSM tool, paste the results of the ticket, and iterate until resolved. On average, this manual troubleshooting and triage process typically takes about 20 minutes per event. Let's see how we solve this problem in SL1. ScienceLogic SL1 automates the bi-directional data exchange with your ticketing system or service desk to ensure that new devices, incidents, and business services are kept up to date. You can see that the ticket was created automatically versus waiting to get routed, assigned, and then placed into a queue for support personnel to review and then initiate ticket creation, all of which add lag time to resolving the issue. Let's drill into the ticket. The next thing I'd like to point out is that the incident information regarding the storage volume capacity issue has been aligned with the CI. Let's look at the automations that have already occurred. Based on the event policy that was triggered, SL1 automatically loads the credentials, logs into the device, runs the appropriate triage commands, pulls back the results at the time of the incident, and updates the ticket with the results. Similar to photographic evidence for a CSI investigator, this captured diagnostics data enables operational staff to understand what was happening at the time of the problem to help them isolate root cause faster. Since this was a storage issue, SL1 collected storage usage and configuration details. From the event console, operations staff can also manually execute enrichment or remediation scripts based on the automatically collected data. For instance, they might want to rerun the file system diagnostics we just looked at to see if the situation has gotten better or worse since SL1 first detected the incident, or they may choose to run one of the suggested recommended remediation actions. In this case, let's resolve it by selecting the Linux Clear Cache action. Now that the cache has been cleared, let's look at the automation log. Here you can see the results of the Clear Cache command. It cleared the cached package files and freed up disk space. On the next polling cycle, the event will be cleared as the device returns to a healthy state. In this example, SL1's automated troubleshooting reduced time to remediation by 70%. If you extrapolate this out to thousands of events each year, that is a significant amount of time that your engineers could spend working on critical business initiatives. Today, SL1's new automation library contains over 340 best practice automations and 150 recommended actions, and this library is constantly being expanded. With SL1's automated troubleshooting, you can reduce triage time by automatically capturing diagnostics at the time of the event, perform root cause analysis faster, and finally, lower your operational costs. To learn more, please go to sciencelogic.com.